Welcome back. Well, with 8,000 competition dishes, the World Food Championships, definitely the place to be if you are a foodie over the next few days. Oh, this is making me hungry. I know, I'm looking at all the video. Man, that looks good. So the public gets to watch the food fights and, of course, eat. I want to be a judge. That would be nice, Ooh, too. Oh, wouldn't I that would be like fun? That. I bet Hannah Batal would sign up for that. She's <laughs> at Fair Park with a look at all the fun. Good morning, Hannah. Right, where was this sign up and how did we miss it, Brandon exactly. and Lauren? The World Food Championships is just a food competition unlike any other. I mean, I'm a sucker for those food competition shows, but I mean, getting to watch it in person is just a level up experience that is so fun. Here in Fair Park this weekend, as you can see, one of the competitions is actually underway. And I know you guys mentioned you would like to be a judge. Well, hey, this morning, we're not only talking to a judge, we're talking to a master judge, Jose Alfaro. You're also a sponsor of the event. First of all, tell us the competition that, that, that's happening right now behind us. So right now, out of the 10 uh, categories that we have, Hannah, we have the baking category going on, what obviously is a big category <laughs> with everybody's a baking lover. So um, just thrilled to be a master judge here. Um, the first time to being to participate as a master judge, being a guest, being an attendee, being a panel judge, now the first time being a master judge. Just thrilled to represent Catelli Brothers and to be here and, and continue to grow uh, for the love of food. Yeah, so. I know. You, you play such a big role in this weekend's event. So behind us, when I, I saw that this, I mean, this competition started a little over 10 minutes ago, I was surprised when they threw two hours up on the clock for the bacon competition. What are these contestants going to do during that time? So these contestants cannot prep or do anything before those two hours, and their main objective is to create a dish and a recipe with whatever the category is. So they have a time window of 10 minutes after the two hours, and it's a very hard cutoff, and the pressure could rise. And being a master judge, actually, it's a different um, outlook from being a tasting panel. So we're, we're looking for creativity, organization, cleanliness, methodical technique. Um, so it's a little bit more of a twist that we added this year. But all these judges are under the gun. They love to be here. They're competing. And you know what? They just have to just be themselves and stick to the skills that they know. Know, and I, most of them normally celebrate afterwards, and that's all it is. It's a big celebration of food. I mean, everybody here is just having the time of their lives, and, and, and that's not the type of energy right, we right. usually get when we head out to reporting locations at, sure. what, 6, 7 in the morning, but everyone here is just so happy to be a part of it. You started off as an attendee, then you worked your way up to judge, now you're a master judge this year. Has there ever been a competition that you're judging where the judges are just at a standstill, can't decide which competitor to choose? Oh, absolutely. And that, as a judge, that's where you want to be. We have to be very critical um, because this is this is a real competition and people take this very seriously um, even though it is food and food is the the universal language but however um, it is a competition and people are here to compete and they're here from all over the world I believe we have multiple continents being yeah. being um, represented here along with national uh, uh, com competitors so um, it is just one of those things where you come here and it's just a celebration that you made it here and to compete is an accomplishment in its own. And being a master judge is, for one, being part of the inaugural class was a yeah. little bit nerve-wracking. Um, no pressure. No pressure at all, <laughs> but we set the standard and all four judges, we had to concur and we had to get together and collaborate. But that's what we want to do because we want the best person to, the best chefs and the best yeah. candidates to advance. Really quick before we run out of time, any tips for first-timers heading out here to watch the competition? Um, just come. Come, right. be a part of it. Um, if you love food, this is the place where you need to be. Great sponsorships, great attendance, great participants, great chefs. Um, and if, you, if you're not hungry when you get here, you just may not be liking food. So with the barbecue going on Friday night and everything, there's great events that they put on on top of the competition. So it's a fest. It's a, it's a, it's a celebration along with being a competition. So just come. Come to Fair Park I love and be it. a part of it. Thank you so much, Jose. Information uh, will be on Fox4News.com as far as ticketing goes. But I think he said it best. You might as well just come out here and enjoy it. 330 different teams from 10 different countries fighting for for three hundred thousand dollars in prize and uh, prizes, Brandon and Lauren, competition is getting heated. I'm not just talking about the grills; it's the smell, it's the taste, it's the, just a full sensory experience out here. Okay, just hang Why out, Hannah. Should... We'll meet you there for lunch. We could do that, <laughs> Hannah. Yep. We, we could do that. We, we can judge. Can post that. up Ooh. right here. I want yeah. the master judge title. I know that would be awesome. Is that? I wonder if it's like life experience. Should we make you the master of... anchor or the master, master meteorologist, Evan Andrews? Chef. <laughs> I like it. Chip and I were sitting there. I mean, obviously, you know, the master.